Hello everybody, it's Connor from Sinity Gaming, and um, this is probably going to be the most boring, pointless, and shortest CGN ever. Um, yeah, it's Sunday the 28th of December, obviously Christmas has just been, hope you all had a very nice Christmas and everything. Pete did, and he's gone off somewhere now that I'm on holiday for New Year, and um, uh, yeah, to our knowledge, or so as much as we could see there aren't any games coming out within the next seven days so um yeah just um two bits of news today actually um there's not even anything worthy of being the third bit there's been so little activity in the last week so um uh the big news um i'm sure you all know this uh, the Xbox Live and PSN outages so uh, I've got a nice red background here to show that it's quite serious or quite uh, big news if you like so um, yeah recently Microsoft's Xbox Live and Sony's PlayStation Network experienced outages due to hackers breaching both of the services servers uh, the first outages were uh, reported on Christmas Day after a group of hackers who we're not going to be name um, because obviously they want publicity we're not going to publicize them because what they've done is wrong and um, they shouldn't have done it so I'm not mentioning their names uh, because that's what they want they want publicizing I'm not doing that so yeah um, uh, where did I get to sorry oh goodness me uh, yeah, okay, so the group of hackers breached both Xbox Live and PSN. So the hackers say that their motive was to demonstrate how weak the security is on the two networks, which have both been targeted previously by hackers, notably the PSN back in April 2011. I'm sure PlayStation owners, you will remember that. Um, both services are now back online, however we don't know whether another attack is going to be, or is planned rather, by the group responsible for these outages. Um, yes, Xbox Live was restored quite quickly, PSN I believe only came back online yesterday, uh, or actually it might have even only been this morning, so yeah, Xbox Live hasn't been too bad though, and um, yeah, whoever you are, people out there, I'm not going to name you, I know what your name is, but um, why would you do it over Christmas, especially? I mean, are you just trying to like ruin Xboxes and P PlayStation's reputation? It's just like, oh, yeah, well, hack the server so they're not working on Christmas Day and ruin loads of kids' Christmas and loads of adults' Christmases because they can't use this, the online stuff. So, yeah, hopefully this will all get resolved fairly soon. I think they're still trying to like f work on fully restoring both services but to my knowledge I know that Xbox Live is definitely online because I'm on it at the moment well I was before doing CGN uh, I don't own a PlayStation so I don't know for definite but um, yeah as far as I know both of them are now back online and um, finally Halo Master Chief Collection update so this was really all that was worthy of putting in after that. I thought, I can't just put one bit of news in. So, uh, I found this. So, an update recently began rolling out for or to Halo the Master Chief Collection, adding a few new things to the game, as well as patching a few things currently in the game. Halo 4 Spartan Ops is the big item in this uh, in this update, and players can now enjoy Halo 4 Spartan Ops on their Xbox One, uh, which kind of good, actually. I played the first episode of Spartan Ops, and then I, f I just kind of forgot about it afterwards, so I didn't do the rest. Um, a few other things were patched to improve reliability, including some matchmaking fixes. Uh, one of them uh, was, so matches will now only start when teams are even. R it didn't do that, really? I mean, I've not tried matchmaking on it, because I haven't had hell of a lot of time to play on it yet, because me and Pete were supposed to be going through the campaign on Legendary together, but now that he's away for the week, I don't see that's going to happen within the next few months. And there's also uh, a fix to an achievement, which has not been unlocking for some players. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, that's been fixed now, apparently. Um, Microsoft also stated that they will be giving a remastered version of Halo 3 ODST to all Master Chief Collection owners as compensation for the issues at launch. So if you got it at launch, you might remember that they had issues with the servers 
Uh, they couldn't cope. They had to remove several online like matchmaking playlists to try and um, free up some of the server space for like other people playing and that. So uh, yeah, that's um, Halo Master Chief Collection for you. Uh, that's probably going to be one huge update, which I probably better do soon because my internet is terrible. Uh, that is CGN for this week, and um, also just a reminder as well, this week is the best of 2014 week, so we're not uploading any normal videos this week, it's all going to be top 10 of all the series that we do, apart from this one, because, well, what's the point of doing top 10 if we do, if we do like, show you the best news of the year, it's old anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, stick around and tune in for those, they'll be pretty good. And um, yeah, we've got Minecraft Resource Spotlight coming out tomorrow, so that's the first one. So yeah, hope you all had a good Christmas, and hope you all enjoy our Best of 2014 videos. And uh, yeah, we'll see you some other time for some other videos as well. And we hope you all have a good new year. Thank you, and um, well, goodbye.